Denise, here we are at the I Love Italy gal Gallery and we are just surrounded uh, by the most wonderful re Renaissance paintings, Leonardo, Botticelli, and they're all going to be coming to the uh, major event that we're having in October, uh, the Vinitalia, which will be at the exhibition buildings. Yes. So we'll have people being able to see the Renaissance painters without having going uh, and travelling all that way. Can you tell us about these works? Yeah, you said fine. So the people will be very um, lucky. They will be able to uh, to see some of the most famous Renaissance paintings. They they could they can only see if they travel all the way to Italy, uh, and they are reproductions. So they're not prints. They actually paintings. Not um, photo, not photographic prints or anything like that. No, no, nothing like that. These are actually painted. Yeah, from uh, masters in Italy. So artists that do this as a job, and they know they study the techniques of the big masters of the past or from the Renaissance. So when you look at one of these paintings, they are exactly the ones that you can see in a museum in Italy. So you're telling me that in Italy there is a school of masters that trains painters to actually paint these reproductions and then they're used around the world. There are many schools like that. So the artists that um, you can find in Italy are, are many. And so we picked some and um, we, we got some paintings off of them. And so we've got uh, at the Vinitalia, which will fill the whole exhibition buildings, uh, these paintings will be part of that, that major uh, event but also it will complement uh, all of the Italian wines and the Italian foods etc. So you'll be there to talk painting and art? Yes, we will be there. We will be there to let people admire these paintings and explain the value of, of these paintings that they're hand painted and they're not prints and uh, to understand that um, a, a reproduction has a big value because it brings the past to the present in a certain way. And, it's, and from the point of view of um, people uh, wanting, uh, who are not able to travel to Italy, they are actually able to see these uh, paintings. And even if they do travel to, it, uh, to Italy, sometimes uh, these paintings, uh, when the uh, major galleries take their paintings overseas on big travelling exhibitions for the rest of the world to appreciate. It's these paintings that replace them in the galleries? Yes, that's right. As you said, uh, in some cases, uh, in the original paintings need to, to go for a journey <laughs> to other major cities. And uh, for this reason, the reproductions um, are used to replace them. And um, something interesting about the reproductions is that um, they are exactly the same, but they always have a little difference. Uh, it could be the size, or it could be a little particular, like, um, for example, a leaf that is leaning in a different way, uh, or a little shadow. <laughs> so only a very expert eye can, can tell the difference from the original one. So, Denise, uh, on October the 11th, uh, you will be there to talk about uh, the Renaissance painters and you'll have a whole series of paintings there for people actually to look at and appreciate. Yes, that's right. We will be there for everyone and explain what we have and, and what we do. Yeah. And also, and also uh, for people to be able to, uh, I suppose there couldn't be anything better than be having a glass of Italian wine and uh, also have uh, some Italian lovely food to taste and having a look at the Renaissance. Exactly. Wonderful choice to relax and admire something, you know, uh, unique. <laughs> All in the heart of Melbourne at the Royal Exhibition Buildings. We thought, not moving from the city, how wonderful. <laughs> not only are the, uh, will we be on that Sunday the most livable city in the world, we'll also be the most renaissance city in yeah, the world. Yeah, for that day we will. <laughs> okay, thank you, Denise.